Welcome back to another cursed mining video. Today we are doing another 2 month earnings update on the F1 mini FPGA miner. It has been mining Autocrypt and I set it up on the 31st of April, making May the 1st the effective first mining date. We'll discuss earnings as well as power costs. With the release date today we are talking about 2 months minus 1 day. Even before we start I have to say it has not been so glorious but that always depends on your perspective too. What you paid for the miner and for how long you have had it. Also what you have been doing with the mine coins and how the markets develop without much further ado though. The F1 mini earned a bit above 700 gigabyte in that time. The wallet screens you see are not taking the pool into account which has not paid out the latest earnings. This means with Digibyte's glorious price of around 2 cents we are talking 12 euro or around 14 US dollars. Of course you have to keep in mind that depending on the time you watch the video the US or Euro amounts will constantly be changing. For 2 months of working though, yeah not so great. Before discussing the electricity costs as well, let's talk settings and overclock too. I was mining on Zerg Bull, which I've already used years ago. After ignoring OC's overclock for most of the time while having the little thing, I have spent a bit more time on it since it moved up with me in the office in winter. Dependent on your cooler and ambient temp, you might be able to push a little bit more out of your F1 Mini. Colleagues of mine and me, cheers to JLC Freitas, have also noticed that no matter what cooler you have, the PCB of the F1 Mini itself always seems to get pretty hot. Not the chip itself, I solved that by generally having a bit of airflow, say an oscillating fan where the machine stands, that's enough. Again though, overclocking will also depend on the algorithm. Before Autocrypt on Luxcoin, it actually worked to see a little bit more hash rate. On Digibyte now, of which this earnings update is about, I have to say overclock did not really seem to affect the hash rate. On the opposite, if I pumped the frequency, my hash rate rather declined slightly while the temperatures did not change much. Anyway, you see this was an honest but not so great earnings update for 2 months of mining. And we still have to deduct the power, <laughs> so for around 50 watts. For an average electricity price of 0.1 USD per kilowatt hour, it would cost you around $3.39 USD to run a month. So around 3 euro and 2 cents. That is not much money to run, but looking at the small profits, it's also not leaving much of it. Here of course I have to add that my F1 Mini has been mining for me longer, since around June 2019. And there have been better and worse times for it. Also some of these say more experimental projects had some pump and dumps too, you might have taken advantage of. It really depends, like always in mining, on when you got it for what price. If you were thinking of getting it now though for mining Autocrypt, now you know how the numbers are looking in 2020. <laughs> what have you guys been mining with your F1 Mini or what would you like to see in the next earnings update? For me it means even though these numbers were not so great, <laughs> I am keeping the machine as I just love to play around with it. I was hoping the new cooler for it will already arrive before it's time for this update, but I feel the pandemic delayed that. You'll see that in the next update as well. Let me know what you think and if you have been following Black Miner, Hash Altcoin and their little easy to use FPGAs. I do love the machines itself, but the high entry price for the bigger ones, or depending on what price you got them for, it can look bleak in terms of return of investment. Still, in my opinion, it's one of the most experimental and versatile machines while being easy to use at the same time we have seen in recent times. 
again as always in mining it really really depends on many factors at the same time which are all correlated like price what you mine and what you're doing with what you are mining what i can do is only offer momentary snapshots for you folks to help you make your own decisions as the f1 machines come up often i hope all of you are doing well out there last week was a bit chaotic because of family issues now i'm doing my best to be back to normal and there are some interesting things i'm thinking about of bringing to your attention too have a good one and take care of yourself people Please subscribe for weekly tech and mining content. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.